we're here for the Pizza Bros pop-up. Can you use the Gosney Rock Box as a commercial oven? The first pizza we're trying is the Water Roll. Yeah, I can try. Yeah, or it's All the way. Uh, no. seven years of bad What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is very, very exciting because we're going to check out this amazing i assume it will be amazing because it's by this guy's called the pizza bros and they're normally at the dolphin hotel in sorry hills but they've got this pop-up for the whole month of march here at grifter brewing and tasting bar that's what it's called and i'm here with annie say hi <laughs> <laughs> so she'll be she'll be helping me judge of how good their pizza are so this is the first time i'm trying their pizza without further ado guys let's go let's go annie let's go <laughs> Yeah, I never met someone like you Oh, to your mama, she a blessing There's nothing that I would undo We'll never hit CS news on you Always trying to show you something new to you Only wanna treat you right Cheers! Cheers! You have to make eye cream pie You haven't heard of that? Oh, no? Okay Cheers! <laughs> have you heard that? It's like no. seven years of bad s**t Emotional, damn it! No sh Yeah. Okay, I don't want that. <laughs> and he's too shy to be on the camera again. <laughs> so we are like both having seltzers. Okay, there she is. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I mean, you could say it's close to like a cider. Like, I don't really drink beer as well. It's like the closest thing I drink to a beer is like a cider. So what are we doing here? We're here for the Pizza Bros pop-up. Question I also want to try to answer is, can you use the Gosni Rock Box home oven as a commercial oven for a commercial setting like this, like a pop-up? Can you? Like, how, what's the pizza going to be like? We're going to find out. Right, Annie? Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> Bit of a disclaimer, Pizza Bros invited me to come here. So the first pizza we're trying is the water roll. We try that. And then we added pancetta on top. And he's having it now. That's it. Looks legit, man. There you go. Front big check, looks legit. Mmm, mmm. That's really good. Like it's yeah, like Annie was saying, it's like really chilly. I love the base, it's thin, it's fluffy. Um, you got like smoky flavors. Yeah boy. <laughs> and then it normally doesn't have pancetta, but it asked for extra pancetta. Well, Joey suggested for it and it's really good. The prawns are plump and cooked well, but I think it's more of the I like the pancetta because the pancetta goes nice with the chili. Fermented chili. Mm. Trying the margarita and we added enduya. That's it. Legit classic margarita. As you know, margarita is almost like the most simple base plain out of all the Neapolitan style pizzas. Adding enduya in that, which I've never done before, it's actually pretty awesome because it elevates like the flavor, adds complex to what's a simple, perfect pizza. Nothing wrong with adding a bit of spice to your life. And then I think. The water world, this, the, the one with prawns, it's the best one so far. So Loki, she's like, oh, I'm just trying, but like, there you go. Oh, yeah. I wanna fall in love. Annie's been thinking about starting her own YouTube channel. <laughs> Comment down below, should Annie start her own YouTube channel? Comment down below. Okay, the last pizza we're trying tonight is the sausage pizza. Mm. By the way, if you guys are interested, his those are 65% hydration, which is pretty standard for Napoli style pizzas. So for Napoli style pizzas, you're looking at around 61% to 65. Flavor profile, there's a lot of umami in that. Hints of spicy, but not so much. So Joey's gonna be here all of March on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I'm just gonna take a break from doing my Korea vlogs. I've got three or four more to go, I think. 
I don't know. Let's check. Oh no, it's fine. It's like sharp. Yeah. That's a good one. Well, even that one. The first one and the last one. Yeah, I don't like this one. If you don't know, like Merrickville has got like a lot of craft beer breweries. Um, yes. We're gonna finish this. I mean, we're gonna pretend like we're gonna finish this, but legit, there's gonna be like a lot left over. We're gonna have gelato after this. Like, you cannot have gelato, I mean, pizza without having gelato after yeah. It's a must. Exactly. It's a must. So, that's for real. Your name's actually Joey Pepperoni. Yes. Wow. Uh, I, I changed it legally, Mr. Pepperoni. Wow, that's that, that, that's legit wild, man. That's so cool. Thank you. Thanks for having us, bro. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> A little later. Yeah, I never met someone like you. Oh, to your mama, she a blessing. There's nothing that I would undo. We'll never hit CS news on you. Always trying to show you something new to you. Only want to treat you right. <laughs> Alright, so we're here now at the Cow and Moon. So it won like best gelato in the world at one point, like a few years ago. I think it was like 2012 or 13 or something like that. Having Mandarin and we're having the Mandalora. I think it's called Afogado. So comment down below, have you ever used the Gosni Rock Box to make pizzas before? Where's your favorite pizza place anywhere in the world? If you're a Sydney cider, where's your favorite pizza place here in Sydney? Comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and smash it if you want to. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And please hit that notification bell so you update with all my videos. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace. Much love. We out. Bye.